What if the moment we call death isn't an ending, but a profound energetic shift? And what if the extraordinary talents of some children are whispers from that very transformation, echoes of lives lived before? Prepare to connect the mind-bending principles of quantum physics with the age-old mysteries of rebirth, and witness how the incredible stories of child prodigies around the world, from musical geniuses to children recalling past lives, might just hold the key. Think about the first law of thermodynamics, a cornerstone of physics. It states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. Light becomes heat, motion becomes sound, and so on. If we accept that we are energy, doesn't this principle have profound implications for the concept of death as we traditionally understand it? If energy can't be destroyed, what truly happens when our physical bodies cease to function? Perhaps death isn't an end, but a transition, a transformation of our energy into another form. Like water evaporating into vapor, the tangible form might disappear, but the essence, the energy, persists. This isn't just philosophical musing. It opens the door to considering possibilities beyond our current comprehension. Could this transformation involve a return, a new manifestation of that same fundamental energy? The concept of rebirth, present in many cultures and spiritual traditions, gains a new layer of intrigue when viewed through this quantum lens. If energy seeks new forms, could a portion of our energetic essence contribute to a new life, a new physical vessel? This brings us to the fascinating phenomenon of child prodigies. How do we explain children with innate abilities far beyond their years, exhibiting knowledge of languages, music, or mathematics they've never formally learned? Could these be instances where a concentrated form of energy, carrying echoes of past experiences or talents, manifests in a new life? Think of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart composing symphonies as a child, seemingly tapping into a wellspring of musical genius. Or consider Akiana Kramerik, who began painting incredibly complex and spiritually evocative artwork at a very young age, claiming visions as her inspiration. In India, the well-documented case of Shanti Devi, who as a young child vividly recalled details of a past life in a different village, even recognizing her former family, offers a compelling example that has intrigued researchers for decades. The quantum perspective challenges our conventional understanding of death and life, is my conclusion. Life continues. Share your thoughts below. What do you think?